Hello learners, NIOS welcomes you to the painting subject video series. This is lesson number 10, Sculpture of the Indus Valley Civilization part 3. Now we will summarize the lesson and also discuss the questions and answers. So after going through the lesson, we have some important points for us to remember. First, that despite Indus Valley civilization being a very early civilization, the sculptures show us the use of surprisingly advanced techniques and very high degree of sophistication in execution. The beauty of the artifacts indicate the maturity of the sculptor. So all the three sculptures which we have have been beautifully drafted which in fact really show that the sculptures are really really talented and skilled. The figures and figurines have expressive faces. Also, the form is very proportionate. Use of the trefoil motif and the decorations which have been done really let us understand that there are various subjects which they use to make these sculptures. The three sculptures which we studied about all are made of different mediums. First, made by terracotta. One is made by the steatite stone and one is made out of metal using the lost wax process. The sculptures which we have seen most often of gods, goddesses dancers, dwarfs, animals and birds and these sculptures provide us a perspective about how life and culture of the Indus Valley Civilization could have been. Questions. The first question What is the priest bust made of? Question number two Where was the priest bust found? Question number three Describe in brief the priest bust. Question number 4. Describe in brief the motif on the priest shawl, on the priest's shawl and also what other civilizations is this motif linked with? Question number 5. What is the priest wearing on his arm? Question number 5. What is the priest wearing on his arm? Answers. The first answer, the priest bust is made of a stone which is called statite. Second answer. The priest bust was found at Mohenchadaro at a site called the Gadhi Wala Tila site.
third answer. The priest bust can be described by identifying that the hair of the priest king is parted in the center, the beard is neat and trimmed, the eyebrows are straight, the eyes are narrow and the neck is thick. Answer number 4. The trefoil motif on the priest's shawl is also seen in other civilizations such as the Egyptian civilization, Babylonian civilization which is the modern day Iraq and also the Mesopotamian civilization which was which is Kuwait and Iraq now and the trefoil motif has been found in these civilizations as well as in this valley civilization. Answer number 5. The priest bust has armbands. So, the priest is wearing a jeweled armband. Questions related to the dancing girl sculpture. Question number 1. Describe in brief the figurine of the dancing girl in short. Question number 2. Where is the figurine exhibited? Question number 3. What is the medium of the dancing girl? Question number 4. How is the jewellery on the dancing girl's left arm different from that on her right arm? Question number 5. Name the technique used for casting the dancing girl. Answers. Answer number 1. The dancing girl is a nude, right hand on her hip. The left knee thrust forward. The head slightly tilted backwards. Her curly hair arranged in a bun at the nape and she is adorned with jewellery. Answer number 2. The dancing girl is exhibited at the National Museum at New Delhi. Answer number 3. This sculpture is made of bronze. Answer number 3. The dancing girl sculpture is made of bronze. The dancing girl is wearing bangles on both her arms, but on one arm there are many bangles and on the other there are only two of them. The process of making the dancing girl is called the lost wax process of metal casting where the model is made first of wax, then this entire structure is covered with plaster. A hole is made where it is lit so that the wax comes out, then the mold is filled with melting or molten metal and that is how we form it. Questions related to mother goddess, question number 1. What is the medium used for making the mother goddess figurine? Question number 2. What is the method used for making the mother goddess figurine? Question number 3. Write the place of origin of the mother goddess figurine. Question number 4. 
where is the mother goddess figurine showed or exhibited? Question number five. What were the mother goddess figurines used for? Question number six. Which other civilizations had similar mother goddess figurines? Answers. First answer, the mother goddess figurine is made by the terracotta process where the clay is first dried, the mold or the model is first dried and then it is placed inside a kiln so that it becomes hard and sturdy. Answer number two, the mother goddess figure was made by hand. First, the model was prepared. Next, after the drying of the model, the eyes, the breasts, the jewelry and all the additional parts were later added or stuck on the figure by pellets and rolls of clay. Lastly, the clay figure was dried and then it was baked in the kiln. The mother goddess figure was found at Mohenjo-daro during the excavations and is now collected at the National Museum at New Delhi. Answer number 4. The mother goddess figurines and similar such figurines were used as votive figures in religious rituals. They were used as offering to the gods. Similar to how when we have ceremonies, re religious rituals at our homes, we have a lot of things like fruits, models, which we also offer to the gods. Similarly, these models were also used. Answer number six, the mother goddess figure was also venerated in the Mesopotamian civilization. Answer 5. Now we have the terminal exercise. Selected questions present here. Students are required to find and attempt answers on their own. First question is, describe the technique and method used for the Indus Valley Civilization sculptures. Question number two, explain the theme of the Indus Valley Civilization sculptures. Question three, describe the priest bust. Question four, describe the dancing girl sculpture. Question 5. What was the significance of the mother goddess figurines? I hope you enjoyed watching part 3 of the lesson. If you have any queries, please email us at signlanguage at the rate nios.ac.in. For more information, you may visit our website www.nios.ac.in. Thank you.